Hello, in today's video, we will be going over protein transport through the endomembrane system. The endomembrane system is composed of different membranes located within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells, and it divides and separates the cell into functional units. This system includes organelles such as the ER, the Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, vesicles, and the plasma membrane. Protein transport is vital not only for the survival of individual cells, but also for organisms as a whole. It is thus crucial for cells to have an efficient mechanism for transporting different proteins to their specific locations. Proteins and other cargo need to be manufactured by cells for their own cellular processes. They also, however, need to be used for the cellular functions of other cells in a multicellular organism. The latter of the two involves secretion of proteins from the manufacturing cell to the target cell. One pathway in which cells secrete proteins first involves the synthesis of proteins into the ER lumen. Protein synthesis into the ER is initiated when a ribosome translates the N-terminus ER signal sequence from an mRNA. A signal recognition protein, known as an SRP, then binds to this ER signal sequence of the protein, slowing protein synthesis. The SRP then binds to the SRP receptor on the ER membrane. The SRP receptor then passes the protein being translated by the ribosome to a protein translocator. The SRP and SRP receptor are then released from the protein and protein synthesis resumes until translation is complete. The N-terminus end of the newly synthesized protein is then cleaved by signal peptidase and the protein is released into the ER lumen. After the proteins have been synthesized in the ER, the proteins will be transported through vesicles to their desired location. Vesicle budding starts off with the inner layer of protein adaptin. Adaptin chooses the specific molecules by trapping the cargo receptors which are bound to those molecules. The outer protein coat is made of clathrin, which is attached to adaptin. Clathrin helps to shape the membrane to bud and to capture molecules for transport. It assembles into a basket-like network and starts shaping the membrane into a vesicle. Dynamin, a small GTP pr binding protein, gathers around the neck of the vesicle bud and with other recurrent proteins, causes the ring to constrict thereby, releasing the vesicle from the membrane. After budding is complete, the coat proteins are removed and the naked vesicle confused with its target membrane. The transport vesicle is actively transported to its correct destination by motor proteins that move along cytoskeletal fibers. In the case of protein synthesis, the target vesicle moves from the ER to the Golgi apparatus. To ensure that the cargo is going to the right location, each type of transport vesicle displays specific molecular markers known as wrap proteins, and each membrane has receptors known as tethering proteins. Rod proteins are complementary to the tethering proteins that are located on the cytosolic surface of the target membrane. Once the tethering protein has captured a vesicle with a matching rod protein, transmembrane proteins called snares assist with the docking of the vesicle. When the snares on the vesicle interact with the complementary snares of the membrane, the vesicle is held in place. The snares then catalyze the membrane fusion required for the vesicle to deliver its cargo. For fusion to occur, the lipid bilayers must be within 1.5 nanometers of each other so that the lipids can intermix. This close proximity is difficult to achieve because water has to be displaced from the hydrophilic surfaces of the membrane, which is very energetically unfavorable. Snares bypass this problem by winding together to form a fusion complex, which squeezes out any molecules that remain trapped between the two membranes. The lipids can then come together to form a continuous membrane and the cargo is released into the organelle. Once the proteins have entered into the Golgi bodies, they undergo several modifications like addition of sugar groups, lipids, and amino acids. After that, they are repackaged into lipid vesicles and sent via cytoskeleton to their destination, whether it be the lysosome, cell membrane, or exportation through exocytosis from the cell. Proteins and cargo that are exported out of the cell are transported to the target cell. The target cell has receptors on the plasma membrane surface to which the molecules bind to and then via endocytosis enter into the target cell. And so the cycle starts again. Overall, proteins and cargo are transported into the cell through endocytosis and are sent to the ER. Protein synthesis and modifications occur in the ER lumen and are sent through vesicles to the Golgi apparatus. There, the proteins are further modified and sorted and then sent to the right location. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video.
created using Powtoon.